Don't wait the expiration of UN six months deadline before releasing Namde Khan, NCF advised Buhari government. Hello, great viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now, according to the news for today, the Nigerian Conservative Forum, NCF, has advised President Muhammad Buhari not to wait till the expiration of the six months deadline given by the United Nations Human Rights Council or arbitrary and illegal detention before releasing the incarcerated leader of indigenous people of Biafra, I Paul Mazen Namde Khan, from detention. Now, according to NCF, he said, it is the wondering why the federal government is here to listen to the Kano, asking, is it that the Nigerian government wants to disobey the UN, a world umbrella body, or is it waiting for the last minute before obeying the UN demand? In a press statement issued yesterday in Indonesia via SMS, signed by its president, Dede Ozo. Also, the right body expressed concern that the federal government of Nigeria is yet to adhere strictly to the UN demand to date, barely three months after the demand was made, and barely three months to the expiration of the deadline. They therefore demanded that without further delay, Mazen Namde Kano should be set free from DSS facilities in Abuja, where he is presently being detained since according to them, Nigeria is a signatory to all UN protocols which compares them to obey the decision of UN. And as such, the federal government should not hesitate in releasing the Biafra leader in compliance with UN decision. The right group reminded the federal government of Nigeria that it has played a big role in the arbitration and resolution of crisis in some African countries, which again put body but it's not to fair that by by the directive of an international organization like UN. The group condemned the indifferences and insensitivity of President Muhammad Buhari in releasing Kano in the line with the UN resolution. It would be recalled that a few months ago, some Igbo elders led by Chief Ambassador Kamechi, the first minister of aviation, paid a special visit to the president to appeal to him to release Khan, in which he promised them to look into the problem with a view to releasing the Biafran dictator. Unfortunately, these elders' request and advice were ignored by the president, who allowed Khan to languish in DSS cell. His release said the group has also become imperative due to the insecurity in the country, which has snowballed to Abuja. Many of Kano's supporters have been expressing fear that terrorists with the active connivance of some element in the federal government can shoot their way into DSS facilities to snuff life out of them. him. Hence, the urgent need to release him. Now that I've come to the end of this news, my analysis. I personally agree with you. Some of the Igbos and some other people calling for his release. Not some kind of selfish people like Chinedu. Selfish people everywhere in Igbo land trying to deceive their followers that they're just mad against Mazen Namde Khan. Telling them that uh, Mazen Nande Khan opposes threat against P2B's presidential election. When you see men who are selfish to the core, you will know them. We all can testify that Mazen Namde Kano has sacrificed so many things for the Igbo and Biafrans at large. He has every opportunity
to accept whatever Nigerian government offered him billions upon billions of naira. How sees here and there? But upon that, he rejected it. That was even when he has not lost his parents or any of his members. He is not a coward like some of you. He is not ungrateful like some of you who call to yourself Igbo leaders and some greedy youth who think they can use the blood of your innocent brothers and sisters to climb a ladder. Mazen Nande Kanu believes in Biafrans. He loves Biafrans just like he loves every Nigerian youth, women, and men. He started asking for the freedom of Biafrans, not because of Biafrans. want to leave but because the atrocities against Biafrans became too much. Some people somewhere made it possible for Biafrans not to sell. They did everything possible to frustrate even a young Biafra doing everything possible to rise. Not because of presidency, if a Biafra man has a place to sell, has support, has international port, has good road, he will sell even without having their man as a president. This is what Mazen Namdekano believes. And this is what every responsible Igbo youth, Biafra youth, believe. Those against Biafra are some criminal element who are doing everything possible to serve their Fulani Janjawi master. And these are the same people who brought him military into our land to massacre our innocent people. It is true that some Igbos. Huh? are calling for his release. Likewise, some Nigerians, some respectable governors in Nigeria, who believe that what he is doing is a great thing. But the Igbo leaders we have, in the name of Devo Mahi, Opus Demma, Wike, and so many of them who are hiding themselves while doing a evil and causing problems in the midst of their youth. We know them all. How he was kidnapped, we know. Those that have hand in kidnap, we know. No right from our side will quietly go to someone's house in the other side of the world to do some shady things by eating the meat kept by that person. Unless, of course, the rat around that place brought the rat in. What I'm saying in essence is this. Those of them who has hand the Mazen and the Kanos kidnap, those of them who collaborated with Nigerian government in fast, who forced Nigerian government to kidnap him because of relation, they are going to be disgraced in time to come. Go and mark it one place. We don't have any problem with anybody trying to become governor, trying to become president, trying to become anything. We have never. All we have continued to do is to ask our leaders to make Biafra land a better place for us to stay. Referendum called Bamazen Nam the Kano because he wants us to live peacefully. But Nigerian government made it difficult. Why they went ahead to massacre innocent people?
protesting without gun, but only flag. And who are those who brought them in? They are Igbo leaders in cooperation with Devo Mahi, Opos Demma, and Dokezi Baz. Even though he later came to deny that he was told late and he told them to wait for him to invite the traditional leader and his son, Mazen Namdekano. But after agreeing with him, they went behind him to execute their plans. But who brought these people in? They are still our leaders, both the ones who are no longer leaders and the ones who are leaders. This is how also they plan to bring him back to Nigeria after they failed to assassinate him in 2017. Buhari government is a Boko Haram terrorist government, a Fulani Janja with terrorist government upon that. He became a president after threatening a whole Nigeria. Nobody is saying anything about it. How your president becomes so small to the extent he now moves like a young man of 35 years old. You have not asked question for that. But some of you are busy condemning what Mazinam de Kalu did. A man who called for the freedom of his people. What bad did he do? If not because you are selfish and self-centered, we are watching. <laughs> Things are going to get wrong if you people continue to hold him in communicado. Some of you say we continue ranting in social media. Not everybody rants. Some of us are only taking time to prove the United Nations, to prove to the world powers that we also believe in law. Even though we know that the Nigerian government does not believe in the so-called law they made, this is because they are criminally minded and every single blood in their vein are criminality. But who made it possible for them to do all this sort of thing? Ibo leaders did. In fact, they collaborated with them to bring Mas Namdekano back forcefully with the help of someone. But like I said before, in time to come, they are going to start to confess. Otherwise, all of them will die one after the other. Go and mark it one place. Today is a decree, unless I am not what I am. The atrocities committed against innocent beer France, we can never allow it to go. This Biafra you see today, you will continue to see, and it will be restored in no time. Like I said, Mazen Namde Khan, if you can keep him in DSS custody to this date, and upon that I have not broke break him, this alone shows that he's a man of dignity, a man of who is honest, a man who cannot say or accept Biafra struggle to stop in any way, even though he is dying. But that will not succeed. He will not die. He will live long to see Biafra that he has brought to this extent. If not, if not, if not, let me keep my comment until when it's necessary. I think I've come to the end of this news. Remember, as a share. Cheers.